Hi, welcome to Critter Fiction. Within the past 36 hours, I have learned about three new Aaron Hunter series coming out within the next year, and I had no idea about two of these, so this is like a huge treat. In case I am not the absolute last person to hear about these, I wanted to make a video and talk about them to try and spread the good word. Turns out we're getting a Warriors Season 8, a second Braveland series, and a brand new one called Bamboo Kingdom. Uh, this channel doesn't officially launch until July, but I just couldn't wait that long to talk about these brand new awesome series. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the sheer beauty of these covers. I love all of them. This art style will never get old for me. I'm making individual videos for every one of these series because otherwise this thing would end up 45 minutes long and nobody's going to watch that. But I will do the basic overview, blurbs, release dates, and other information that just can't wait for its own video. With that out of the way, let's start with Warriors. The eighth Warriors series is going to be called A Starless Clan, and it looks like the first book is going to be released just about a year from now. Uh, that book is titled River, and based on the blurb in Cat Ages, it looks like it's happening just a few moons after The Place of No Stars. Obviously, I have no idea about Light in the Mist's time span since it isn't out yet, but I bet that it and River will end up being about back to back. We got a blurb on I think May 14th on the Warriors website. Here's what it says. A dark age has given way to an era of peace in the five warrior clans, and with it comes a promise of hope. As their leaders deliberate on unprecedented changes to the warrior code, three young warriors set their paws on the paths that will decide their futures. In ThunderClan, Warrior apprentice Flamepaw, a descendant of the legendary leader Firestar, struggles under the weight of his famous kin's legacy, while young ShadowClan warrior Sunbeam has doubts of her own, but in RiverClan, Medicine Cat apprentice Frostpaw looks eagerly toward the horizon, awaiting the day she will be called upon to help her clan, a day that may dawn sooner than she ever dreamed. Alright, this blurb seems really funny, actually. And I'll get into my thoughts on that during the Starless Clan video. I'm excited for it, though. River is set to be released sometime in April 2022. That is 10 or 11 months from now. Feels so long. I've been caught up on Warriors and in the six months between books thing since, like, early Omen of the Stars, and it never gets easier. I don't know if it ever will. But that does mean that I am going to be excited like a kid on Candle Nights when River finally releases. And of course, we've also got Light in the Mist in the meantime. Bravelands is in its second series, Curse of the Sand Tongue. Yep, the first book is already out, and I did not know this. I didn't even know it was getting a second series, so this was a pleasant surprise to say the least. I haven't heard anyone talking about Bravelands like at all, and so I was really worried that it didn't do well enough to get a second series, even though it's so good. I like this series pretty much as much as Warriors. I am rambling. I need to put the rest of this in the other video. Anyway, Bravelands. First book is called Shadows on the Mountain. It released May 18th, the day that I learned about the other two series. But for some reason, in that frantic Google spiral, I didn't know about Bravelands until like three days later. Here's the blurb. A gorilla with a deadly secret, a leopard struck by tragedy, a gazelle cast out of her herd. For generations, the silverback gorilla troop has lived in peaceful seclusion high above the great herd, adhering to one rule, blood pools on the plains. But when a new and terrifying evil descends on their home, every animal must venture into the unknown to prevent darkness from overtaking all they hold dear. <laughs> this announcer voice I've got for the blurbs is really weird, but I'm having fun with it. Anyway, pretty short and sweet. I'll go into my thoughts on that blurb and this whole series in the Curse of the Sand Tongue video. And then once I finally get and listen to Shadows on the Mountain, I think I'm going to make a video about my first impressions for the series. But y'all, I'm so excited we get to spend more time in the Braveland series. I love this world. Last up is a brand new series from the Aarons called Bamboo Kingdom. It looks like this one's going to be set in China, or some fantasy version of it. And as I'm sure you can guess, it's about pandas. Bamboo Kingdom is about panda triplets who got separated at birth and have to fulfill an ancient prophecy. 
pretty typical fare for an Aaron Hunter series. I think they've got their formulas down, but I still enjoy reading them, so I am down for this. New series, new series, new series, new series. Also, new animals. It looks like Bamboo Kingdom is going to feature several other species we haven't seen. I will get into those in the Bamboo Kingdom video, but I think we're gonna like the animals that our pandas get to interact with in this series. Bamboo Kingdom, the kingdom, is also gonna have a bunch of other species in it, which I will get into in my Bamboo Kingdom video. The first book is going to be called Creatures of the Flood, and it's set to be released September 28th, 2021. So we might be getting this even before Light in the Mist. Let's finish off this video with the Bamboo Kingdom blurb. This is kind of a long one, so strap in, boys. One kingdom, three worlds. This thrilling new series from best-selling author Aaron Hunter follows three panda cubs separated at birth who must join together to complete a prophecy and save their home. The pandas of the Bamboo Kingdom have never forgotten the great flood that ended the peaceful life they'd always known. But for three young creatures born that day, the flood marks not an end, but a beginning. The beginning of their struggles to find a place in very different worlds. Leaf, raised in the sparse northern forest, works tirelessly to help her family find bamboo to eat. Rain, hot-tempered, refuses to accept a suspicious new leader in her southern forest community. And Ghost, clumsy and uncoordinated, worries he'll never fit in with his hunter family in the mountains. None of them know that the others are out there, but thanks to a mysterious tiger that's been threatening the kingdom, they will soon find each other and fulfill a prophecy that had been made long before they were born. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to using this voice. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really want to find anyone else in the world that I can talk to about Bravelands without bothering them, so please let me know in the comments if you are as excited about that as I am, or any of the other series, because I'm just all of them. I'm here for it. With that, we're done. Thanks for watching. Wait, I already said that. Shit. Have a good day. I hope you see something that makes you laugh just so loud today. Bye.